What a play, the hoop plus the harm. Excellent concentration on the finish. That's big time. And Miami making a change here. Brown's checked in. Cleveland also making some changes. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Grant. Kobe comes in for Ellis. And it's LeBron in for Darren Williams. Well, I think there's a couple of ways to shorten games. One is uh, cutting down on uh, the intentional fouls in crunch time. I think you could replace TV timeouts with live action advertising. Also, you might just shoot one free throw for the point value of a foul. I, I think the league is right to try to speed up the pace of the game, but it's uh, it's a rocky road. You have to really think things through. It's stolen by Haslam. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. With the second effort, it's rebounded by Cleveland. Morning's got four rebounds in this game. No one near James as he lets it go. LeBron Good James. on the three-point shot. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been palms away ever since. Napier. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. And here's Miami. Anderson is screen on morning. Here's Napier. He's got to contribute. He's got to produce if his team's going to get back in it in this quarter. And morning throws it down. I really think that's the area they want to work the ball into, and it takes passing like that to get it done. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Napier passes to Anderson. The dish to Aslam. Three-pointer, Granger. Shot is off. And Cleveland the other way now. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost them. LeBron drives in, goes up on the wing. The rebound by Anderson. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. And the shot is good. And that's now six points for Danny Granger. Danny. James has a two-pointer. Gets to the corner and buries it. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Here's Napier. Over in the corner, Brown. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, I never got to compete in a dunk contest, but I've seen more than a few at All-Star Weekend. It's just amazing what players today can do in the air. And still, I think my favorite dunker of all time was Julia Serving. Watching him in transition was just a thing of beauty. Grant, he's checked in for Cleveland. Thomas comes in for Bryant. Clark dunks are becoming increasingly more complex, whether they're in-game or during events. Well, the athleticism of the players is just off the charts over the last two-plus decades. So just about everybody, no matter what their size, when you look at NBA guys, can throw it down. And, um, you know, Steve mentioned his favorite dunker. Mine would have to be probably Dominique Wilkins. His two-handed, double-clutch, um, sideways tilt throw down would have to <laughs> would have to be up there as well another bit you know michael jordan vince carter oh yeah, yeah, yeah my yeah, gosh yeah. you can go on and on there's you some sure could. acrobatic guys high flyers for sure and so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout dominating performance for cleveland you're right Steve. it was a standout performance across the board they were just uh, at times clark it seemed toying with yeah them. like watching a cat play with a mouse Thomas. kevin quite yeah. honestly they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Bryant. You have to look at his steals and when he would come up with them as major factors in this result. Textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Hamilton's checked in for Miami. 34 seconds left in the game. It's tipped and stolen by Thomas. Stolen by Granger. Probably time to, to just say it, guys. This game is over. I think you're right on target there. Help that one. It's interesting. They're like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got energy. You know, it's not going to change anything, though, other than to make their losing margin a little more respectable. 
Thomas, no good. Ranger against LeBron. And that one is stuffed right through. That was plain one hand flush. I love it. Clark, I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Yeah, the one hand lets you get up higher. Well, that's what it looked like. He was way up there. And so they foul intentionally. I have no idea why he was fouling there. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. And Danny Granger drops them both. Timeout called, Cleveland. Guys, your thoughts? Not sure why they're calling this timeout. The game is pretty much over. Yeah, I agree with you there, Steve. Maybe they just want to bask in the wind just a little longer, but I don't agree with it. Let's go. Get out of here. Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry. No one near James as he lets it go. Here's Curry. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. Time to turn out the lights on this game. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the way they played here today. Truly a professional display. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the...